We're going to start by looking at some of the rotations, interchanges we use in the build-up phase. Uh, the work here is going to be shown through a 4 through 3 uh, The first one to look at is a central rotation. Uh, just really simple idea. It's just a way to help my players free themselves from man marking, which is a pretty common ploy at the collegiate level. As you see it, the six typically, as we ask them in our team, to move opposite of the, where the ball is located. So four is on the ball, six slides down to create an angle to receive and face forward. Um, you could say, you know, the six is similar to where the five is located, but to be honest, we'd rather have our six on the ball making decisions versus our five. The ball now transfers across to the five. Now the six can roll back the other way, but in this case, we've asked the six to now attack the space going forward. So as you see, the six makes that vertical run. The 10 now slides in at that same diagonal pocket space that the six usually creates with opposite movement to now be able to get on the ball. So for us, the Ys being, you know, the six's movement can drag a defender, especially in a man marking situation to free up the 10. Um, sometimes that six's vertical movement can be can be found with a forward pass. This often happens against man marking players, but also in the zonal systems where they lose it and they're trying to find out who picks up what. And then finally, you know, does this movement create other free players? So especially in man marking situations, does the nine, is there a passing lane to find the nine or does the 11 able to all of a sudden become free based on the six movement? All those things are, are a, a consequence of the rotation. The next one is a wide rotation. Um, as we'll kind of walk ourselves through this. So as the ball transfers again from center back to center back, um, our eight now sees the space and slides out. So our, one of our attacking mates is going to come into that space. So three goes forward and our 11 pinches in. A pretty common rotation um, that you'll see in a lot of places. Now, um, again, the Y being, can we get the eight on the ball facing forward in the half space? Again, typically in my teams, I would rather have my eight or my 10 on the ball versus a center back driving my attack. Forcing a decision from the opposition's right wing and right back. Again, in a man marking uh, approach, who are they going to? Are they going to follow? Where do they trade off? And in that exchange of ideas, um, do we create a free player in the eight, the three, the eleven? And then obviously the addition of the eleven and three becoming additional free players based on that movement alone. The the important thing here is looking at the different position of the five. Um, for us, the cue would be for this rotation to take place is that our five has come a little bit more narrow to pick up the ball from the four. You know, sometimes it'll be our one, sometimes it could, you know, whatever it may be. But in this case, the five slid over a little bit more central than usual, gets on the ball, and that creates that space for that rotation to happen. Um, and then the last one we look at is a little wide interchange. So for me, interchange is just between two players versus a rotation is more than two players. Um, ball cycles out to the to the left center back, the left as the left center back receives it, just a little interchange between the eleven and the three. Uh, why again? It's a good way to manipulate man marking. We've used this before in the past. Um, our eleven being a really good player and really good on the ball, so we want her on the ball as much as possible. Um, so this is where this happened, or where it came from. Again, we're looking to force the decision from the right wing and the right back. Uh, can we play the ball over the back line into the three, because the opposition's right back is has foolishly followed our winger back into that pocket um, and or do we play the 11 because the right winger followed the three up the field so now we can just play the 11 and she can get on the ball facing forward